Hello guys, we have another coder challenge from Coder Byte. Uh, this one is a scissor a cipher, so it's medium difficulty. Again, this challenge uh, we will transform a string using scissor cipher. So yeah, let's begin. So we have a function uh, scissor cipher, so it inputs its take string parameter uh, and perform scissor uh, cipher shift uh, on it using number parameter uh, as shifting a number. Cipher, uh, a scissor cipher works by shifting each letter in the string and uh, pl uh, place it in the alphabet. Uh, in this case, end will be null. Function spaces uh, capitalization should be remain intact, so we'll skip that. Uh, uh, for example, if string it uh, scissor cipher and num is 2, output should be again from C we will go C D. So we have E, A, we D, B, e, D, C. So basically shifting uh, forward uh, 2. Uh, so yeah, and there is other examples we have shift to 4, and if it's 0, we will get uh, kind of the same. So it's interesting and good points that we need to handle the case with zero. It's not clear um, uh, what will be, it looks like we also need to handle uppercase and lowercase. It just give you perception and upfront where to kind of look uh, over the corners out there. And uh, what else? Uh, uh, what I was thinking. So, what question? If it go to Z, uh, it's not clear, but most probably it will be the loop. Uh, so, from Z, let's say shift one, it will go to A. Most probably we will stick to that logic. There is numbers of way how you can implement this. Uh, so, you know, in this case, we will be keep using uh, JavaScript again. Please subscribe and let me know if you would like to see any other languages. There is kind of variety of them, uh, 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 at least even from Coderbyte. Just make sure that we can be practice the right stuff uh, for your, again, fun or interviewing purposes. So yeah, uh, let's get started and uh, let's introduce some implementation here. So one of the ways to, to use it again, use the ASCII uh, code and we will be shifting through the numbers again. Just quick overview ASCII code, so again, it's kind of uh, uh, coming from HTML even, so it should be kind of the same, but you need cross-reference in the languages you use uh, the, for specific. But in JavaScript, again, as you can see, uh, we need the code, so we will start uh, uppercase A starting with 65, we go all the way down to Z to 90, after that we have some, again, let's say special characters there, and after that we will resume on 97. And again, it's go all the way to 122. Uh, so, uh, again, similar presentation, uh, again here, 65, all the way, again, this is uh, in between that we need to filter out and ignore and do this. So yeah, let's go back to implementation. Uh, so, first of all, we will be splitting our string into array of characters, so split function, so, uh, and after that we will be mapping over each character. So, uh, from this perspective, again, we will convert, this kind of where the magic happens, converting characters to e e its uh, ASCII code, so as we said, let's say, if it's upper A, it will be uh, 60. Five. Uh, 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 after that, we will check in if characters in the alphabet. So again, uh, uh, remember that that we need to ignore all other characters. So we only will need to deal with upper and lower cases out there. So and you can see it's like not sixty-five because again it's more than. So we have sixty-five or less than ninety-one. Uh, and again, for uppercase and lowercase, we have two brackets. So after that, we're saying that we're adding shift number to, uh, uh, to, to uh, ASCII code. So again, simple, again, we'll let's say we have 65 plus, let's say, 2, it will be 67. Uh, here, so we'll, from A, we'll be jumping, let's say, to C. 
in case and here's another verification uh, we'll be checking if uh, ascii code is outside of range of alphabets so and in this case again if we adding it's that, that case when i'm saying that uppercase will go to the special characters or uh, uh, again if it's uh, go uh, after z so we probably need to loop it so in this case we see if it's uh, above uh, we will check this uh, again if it's more than 90 less than 97 and again more than uh, 22 so again we just checking if nothing crazy going on there if it is we will wrap alphabets uh, and subtract 26 so we can reset back to alphabet at the beginning the potential issue i see with this implementation and i don't know if there are cases if it's shift is too big uh, we can uh, jump from uppercase to lower cases uh, out there. So this is kind of the whole idea out there that uh, we most probably might need to go back and revise this code. Let me explain. Uh, uh, let's say if our shift will be, let's say 10. So from, and we have Z, we will jump to lowercase and our logic will say, oh, you must probably shifting from uppercase to lowercase and it's not something that you must probably want to do. But yeah, let's carry on. Uh, so and again, uh, the end result, we will convert this back. So again, a reminder that as we uh, converted char to code, this time around, we kind of going back from uh, char, uh, we going back to string. And after that, using uh, string uh, join, uh, we will glue them together, stick them together, so we'll get receive uh, it back. So let's run the code. So again, we got hello, uh, we have lips, and here's four. Uh, let's try ABC, and let's do just for fun one shift. So ABC, yeah, it looks like it works, and let's cut this edge case with zero. We will run, and it looks like it's stick. I would say, unfortunately for this, we don't have extra confirmation. There is no uh, test cases uh, for here. So we, again, if you have these examples, you must probably want to kind of introduce yours if you have time uh, to that. Or again, just again, uh, not the best practice, but again, uh, hope for the best. So uh, uh, or again, just run uh, your examples. So it looks like we're receiving uh, well, what we need. So yeah, let's go with submission. I will accelerate and you can see they do have test cases behind the scene, but again, it's not visible for us. Let's wait the execution. All right, so we got it. Uh, so ignore the time period because again, additional time uh, took to generate the code commands and uh, have the old recordings. So we got five points, uh, so maximum for test case and timing. Uh, here again, we do have all code. Again, you can also see how other uh, submission going. So why it's important? Some hiring managers, uh, the hiring teams probably will rely on like, oh, something clever. Oh, let's be do more challenging, and they will kind of limit amount of time that you, as the interviewer, will be able to. Uh, 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 to spend uh, on implementations is so all right so again it was uh, again uh, uh, Caesar uh, cipher uh, implementation I might add additional uh, variation to this uh, uh, implementation again you can use even normal characters that you will shift around but again uh, uh, ASCII code it seems to be kind of reasonable way to uh, to implement this again as usual uh, uh, source code will be in description below and again please subscribe and like and let me know if you would like to see other implementation specific implementation or specific languages thank you and see you next one bye